Welcome back to Leafly Stupid. I bet you're wondering why we called it, called it that, but that it's really, you know, it's more for one of us. And to give you a hint, um, Soren was homeschooled, Dyson graduated college, and I pay child support. <laughs> <laughs> so good luck figuring that out. Uh, so let's start the podcast, boys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well... I guess that's a good explanation of the name. I, don't, I, never thought, I never thought about it that way, but yeah. Honestly, <laughs> I think that like I think that I was wanting to come up with like a running gag mm-hmm. where it was like we kind of come up with different ways as to because it really like we really don't have much of a reason behind the name other than I thought of it and I was like, this sounds a good, really good name and I don't uh, think anyone's uh, using it. Yeah, out of all the, out of all the things that we yeah came up with, uh, I mean there was like three names maybe and we tried, but oh my God. that one. That one's the one that stuck for sure. I don't it remember. Basically, come down to a poll, if I remember right. I do. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. that poll was like variations the, of yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, like, name. yeah. Uh, lethal stupidity, uh, lethal. I think what it was mainly like the main ones it came down to was lethal stupidity and lethally stupid. Mm-hmm. No, um, and I don't, even, I don't remember the others. No, me either. Yeah, yeah, that's how uh, terrible they were. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you want to talk about terrible names. The very first name of the channel was Game Tac. Game Tac. Uh, yeah. Game Tac. That was spelled T A C. Yeah. Why Game Tac? It was just the name that me and my ex came up with. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I forgot the channel's originally you and your ex. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta delete some videos actually. Uh, <laughs> if yeah. you go to the very like the most. I've watched all the videos that are on the channel too. <laughs> Uh, have you? <laughs> uh, I've watched all the game tag. No, there's some game tag of me and you, so you don't have to delete those. Oh, no, 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 not yeah. those. Yeah. No, I think, uh, like, uh, I think by the time I got involved, it was Film Fuckers. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that was the yep. second name, wasn't it? Yes. yes. Okay, there's been three names. Yeah. Yeah. Which we ended up getting 100 of over 100 subscribers eventually, and we did a 100 subscriber special. I remember that, yeah. Now we're below 100 subscribers, so we can uh, do yes. another one. Yeah, <laughs> double 100 subscriber special. Uh, but yeah, it won't be the highly. same kind of video, it'll be completely different. Yeah. yeah, and hopefully it won't be as cringy in it, because I kind of just like was trying to... I had to... fun editing. Yeah, I, was saying, I was hoping yeah. to replicate the cringe, so uh, it's yeah. probably a good thing yeah, to have Cringe can be funny, <laughs> but it can also sure. be cringe. I, uh, I remember <laughs> doing those, and I just fucking, I lost control. Like, it was just like, it, I, I want to say it was kind of like an out-of-body experience, and I just couldn't control myself, and I was yeah. just doing the stupidest shit. And... Well, when it became Thumbfuckers, it was originally you... Uh, Will and um, Jake. Jake, that's right. Yes. Yeah, and then you added me and Nathan on. Yes. I remember. And then we just added other people on yeah. as it went. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? We, for, we had a meeting okay. at Brandon's house yes. that had me and Nathan on. That was yeah, that uh, whole meeting. Uh, uh, yeah. Cool. It was just, a whole... We just hung out after work because all of us. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, we, just, we discussed what we wanted to do with the channel and mm-hmm. and. and like if we were to make revenue off of it, what we what we would do with that, which was pretty much reinvest into the channel. I'm yeah. trying to think if okay, no, Nathan did contribute along with Will. I'm trying to remember if Nathan did anything, and he ended up doing some videos with Will. Did he? Uh huh. Yeah, he did a few, not a lot, but yeah. he he I did, did contribute some. some. Well, yeah, and I did. He had a VR headset, and mm-hmm. um, yeah. he brought that over to my house when we recorded yeah. me doing but jobs I, later. I think Brock ended up uh, <laughs> contributing more just with oh, all the yeah. stuff he did with Will. So, oh yeah, I <laughs> forgot Brock was on the channel for a little while. Uh-huh. There. Yeah, he was. Yeah. <laughs> Most of these people, I actually have no idea who are. So. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's <laughs> great. Which well, you're makes not, it perfect. You're not, yeah, you're like, not part of this conversation, Soren. <laughs> well, I am over here on the other side of the table. Uh, yeah, yeah that's that's the furthest I man. To, I, need to always, I need to make myself more in the middle. <laughs> yeah, play more neutral uh, Yeah, I yeah, do. But uh, I did interact with Jake that night because the hundred subscriber special. But I think that's yes. the only time I've ever seen him. Was Jake's uh, contributions for streams mostly? Like didn't we he aren't really a disappear. Part of it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, I wouldn't consider him part of the channel anymore after the disappearance. No, no. It, well, uh, well, if you ever wanted to do anything for us, then by all means. I actually like, like got a hold of him about a year ago because he sort of like come just completely disappeared off the face of the earth. Like you know, no oh, contact yeah. with anyone. I know he was having a rough time with family and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, and shortly after that, his dad died of cancer. Yeah, that's always rough. 
Yeah. Um, well, it didn't really phase him too much, I guess, because he was just joking about it <laughs> on the yeah. phone. Well, he was like, like, you got to joke about it, too. But I yeah. mean, he was like, at least I know where to find him now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, yeah. You got a sense of humor about it, I guess. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, yeah. So, well, yeah, I guess it just didn't phase him. Like, or I'm sure, I'm sure he's, like, you know, hiding behind a mask about it. I'm sure he oh, devastated yeah. him in some way. But, like, dude is just, like, um, on the <laughs> East Coast, like, and I talk, talk to him, and I talked to you, like, maybe, like, one day us going to his house or something, to, like, making a road trip out of it. Um, and then, like, I ended up breaking my phone, and I had contacted him through, um, what is that gamer app? Uh, uh, Discord? Yes, Discord. I have them on Discord still, if you want, yeah. his, want his Discord. I think I might be able to I look just, Father Faye, right? Uh -huh, yeah. yeah, I haven't talked to him in like three years probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then, yeah, like, hell, fuck. I feel so bad because it was like, we talked and I was like, yeah, let's let's reconnect oh, yeah, no, I, and I, I stuff. Like... And then I never talked to him again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah. But it was like, he's kind of gone from all, literally like all my contacts, like everything. It's, it's, like, just a, the, it's he was kind like, of a formality when you see people you haven't seen in a while. You know? well, yeah, yeah, but I, I, yeah, I, I like Jake. It's just a disappearing thing. He seemed like, like a nice yeah. guy. He yeah. played D&D &D that night, I think. It was yeah, fun. I think he played D&D &D with us two two times, I think, maybe. maybe and that was, and then he disappeared. I think yeah. I was there for one of them, yeah. so. Yeah, and he was a genuinely nice guy. Yeah. Like he, you know, he seemed fun. Yeah, and like I talked to him about life and just being nice to people. And his philosophy is like, just fucking be nice. What do you have to gain from being a dick? <laughs> I, remember, I mean, it depends on the situation, I suppose. Jake is the one that I remember Brandon getting an argument with. Of you, know, words can't hurt people if you don't give them power. But Jake did not feel that way. Oh, it's like uh, interesting. Just, like so if someone called you this you want to be mad and brand's like no <laughs> that, does, that did not make jake happy <laughs> well and then there's there's kind of like a, a mysticism for some people around words i you know suppose <laughs> the main yeah. like my main point was that as long as you're not giving them the reaction that they're looking for yeah the power in the word starts to die mm -hmm. and then so it's like you know like someone calling me faggot I don't give a shit. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's like to me, it's like yeah, total fag over here. You know, <laughs> like it kind of takes away what they were hoping to achieve. Yeah, you know, that whole thing. So yeah, they're trying to hurt you or get a reaction, and you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. like I agree. <laughs> Actually, I do kind of have. Hey, a, you're right. <laughs> yeah, the it. double gun. Are you observant? <laughs> <laughs> working eyes <laughs> awesome well i do kind of have a story about that though i was kind of getting into like the same like argument at the bar one time and uh I, and like i was saying fag like out loud so many times and being like extremely loud and then like so go ahead, say it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> kind of a thing. And then, like, at one point, I look around, and it's like, the bar's kind of quiet. <laughs> it's like, no one knows how to fucking process this drunk faggot in the corner. <laughs> Being like, go ahead, call me a faggot. Do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm kind of like, oh, man. <laughs> oh. That made for that was a good night though. Mm -hmm. That might have also been the night where me and my friends like tried to convince this really drunk guy that we're all siblings that fuck each other. <laughs> <laughs> all right then, yeah. <laughs> and there was only one girl. <laughs> so, well, yeah. And, yeah, and of course, you know, we were really good about you know playing it all off. She of yeah. course got the worst of it. Naturally, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Naturally, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah just, you know, she she got He's spit like, roasted. Wait, wait, like all of you each other? Like, yeah, like a round robin tournament. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you get spit <laughs> roasted on the daily. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like everyone gets time with everybody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> equality is the important yeah, thing. Yeah, it's exactly. No, no one needs to feel left out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, we used to do something kind of like that uh, with a friend of mine. We were car shopping. Yeah. So we would go around and car shop. Uh, sometimes I was looking for a car, sometimes she was. But uh, if we uh, knew that we weren't going to buy a car to place, we would mess with the people there. Yeah. And pretend to like argue with each other. Oh. Uh, just be like get angry at each other and argue about the car, or <laughs> just like other random stuff, oh. and just say all kinds of crazy things in front of these people and try and make them uncomfortable. <laughs> One time, 
Uh, we took turns pretending uh, to be uh. kidnapped. Oh. <laughs> 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 like, like we didn't get the cops called when she did. Yeah. So. Oh, <laughs> but, yeah, that would have been bad. But we made some salesmen uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh, I bet. Oh, yes. The thing I would do is just I try to embarrass my friends or like my brother. We go in mm-hmm. public, and I just randomly go, oh, yeah. like in the middle <laughs> of the store. Like, we're just being in an aisle. I'd just do all kinds of moans. Just say <laughs> the most outlandish shit I could think of. Just to be like, they're like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like, I remember going on a, like, Christian, like, you know, summer camp up to, uh, we are going up to Michigan. We stopped in St. Louis. Mm-hmm. And there's a girl walking by on the street. We're getting gas at this place. And the big old van we're in. And I rolled down, like I open, crack open the window. I'm like, hey girl, what's your name is? <laughs> <laughs> and just start saying, like just talking like someone from the city everywhere we went. And uh, yeah, they're like, dude, you're going to get us fucking killed. <laughs> and I was like, God is with me. I'm on a trip right now. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, nothing can happen to me. I'm invincible. And it didn't. So, yeah. No, it didn't. Yeah. That's beautiful. I have, oh, I have a couple like stories of like just, just jokes and shit. Like my stepdad, he and his friends, I guess, growing up were just all about that shit. Um, so like, it won't, like one time his buddy like got in the trunk of a car and like kind of like with all costume on, like, uh, I think maybe raggedy clothes and then like tied up or something. And then they went and, <laughs> and they would go and park at a Sonic and just like in the middle ordering, just have the guy fucking get out of the trunk and fucking just run. <laughs> I don't know the outcome though. I, I hope they got the police called on him. I mean, that's like, that's the best and worst outcome simultaneously because it's like, it makes the story real, <laughs> but also you have to deal with the cops if that happens. Yeah. Well, and then if it's just a prank, but ooh, that, that will really piss them off. Yeah, they don't like to hear that. Yeah, they don't like, it. it's just a prank, bro. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah it's like, you <laughs> would like, kind oh, of yeah. like, I mean, uh, you are kind of wasting their time. Uh, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, my, uh. And they really don't like if you tell them that they're only wasting their own time I mean, because they don't have to be there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that would really piss yeah. them off. <laughs> yeah. My dad used to terrorize uh, Golden City, where I'm from. He's mm-hmm. not from. Golden City, but uh, when he used to go to school there, he'd get especially Halloween. That was the worst night for just vandalism and destruction of the town in general by people. But he uh, would always take like the benches from the park and he'd put them out in the middle of the street and then pour some gasoline on them and then light them on fire. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> just shit like that, you know. Just, That's okay. Uh-huh. He'd take trailers full of stuff. Uh, because he just had a bunch of old trailers, he filled in with a bunch of junk, set that on fire, middle of the road, <laughs> shit like that. And then he'd get chased by the cops, like they toss the call on him, and back then it was all, you know, fat cops who couldn't really do much, the ones that oh, really? the ones at the Golden City. So he would like, he'd run out to, there, you know, there's some wooded areas, he'd run, and he remembers hiding one time, and this cop being like, I don't know who he is, but he runs like a deer. <laughs> like just hearing this guy talk about how fast he was running because <laughs> he's just like, he's like yeah that's right <laughs> he never got caught from any like that stupid shit but you know, I mean that's that, good that's, good. that's not good stuff to have on your uh-huh. record so. oh yeah no but uh, I mean it wasn't just him doing it it was groups of people oh, okay. doing well, it that yeah. makes it a little better yeah <laughs> yeah as long as I mean they can't arrest all of us can't. yeah exactly yeah, yeah. and they didn't they arrest yeah. anybody they couldn't catch anybody <laughs> Yeah, I knew I, people growing up that I mean, my like son may, may, may or may not be related to me. They never hurt anybody, like this, but they would. Uh, in all of their escapades, they never hurt anybody. So that was um, good, I guess. So the, <laughs> and, uh, these people I knew, they would uh, blow up mailboxes. Oh, fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so classic. Yeah. 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 Oh, when I was in high school, we'd go out with some of our buddies, and we just have tons of glass bottles, cans, whatever, in the back of the truck, right in the back of it go down like 160 right out of side, like outside of Golden City as fast as we could and every sign that we saw try to hit it with the can as we went by Ooh. as fast as we could and you know it shatters yeah. it shatters because you're going so fucking fast yeah uh, we got very good at it we could hit whatever we wanted you know, nice. we'd be flying down the road 80 miles an hour and go <laughs> well, if we ever end up in a Mad Max type situation you could throw them all I could throw them all the yes yeah. yeah and we all got great at it it was, yeah. it was super fun and we like to steal uh, like those road cones anytime there's <laughs> construction going on in town. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we stole those a lot. Or if the stop sign wasn't really, really in the ground, 
around town, any of them, we take those. Hmm. Yeah, I, I knew somebody who had some stop signs growing up. Or we just turn them around, whatever, you know, we yeah. did whatever we wanted. It was just, just like a coffee just, table. Yeah. It's just top sign as a coffee table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> beautiful. Yeah. Or, uh, I don't know, it, you went to school in a lot of places. You were homeschooled. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I remember the stories my dad would tell me about. So he had a friend who would, in a high-pitched voice, say, fuck off. And it sounded like he was saying peacock, the way he'd say it. So he never got in trouble for it. He'd just walk up and down the hallways all day going, fuck off. <laughs> and then uh, my dad's younger brother, uh, he would just go down the hallways going, lick my balls <laughs> by everybody he went by. All right, Just then. every single person, just to see if any teachers would get him in trouble. Did they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he got in trouble a lot. Now, he, they did worse shit that I'm not going to say because, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, criminal activity. Yeah. Like, way worse criminal activity. Follow up. Like, did he like, ever get anyone to lick his ball? <laughs> That's the important question. Probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that, it, it, I would be so happy for him if that got him laid like once. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it only has to work once yeah. to be a great story. Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, actually, I'm near a house called the Yuck House. It's a party house. Um, an entire wall in the house is beer cans stacked. Nice. Um, because they just tore it down one day and got fucking destroyed at a party. So the guy who owns it was just like, no, let's just. Rebuild it with all these beer cans. Oh, yeah. 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 So now it's like, I don't even know how many layers and how many beer cans there are in there. And now I think the walls are filled with them, like the other walls. So it's just like, um, he has a lot of super old, nice cars. God, I hope that that house ever gets struck by lightning. I know, right? Yeah. (laughs) Uh, It's got to smell terrible in there. Do they actually, like, do they wash No, he he washes them out. Okay, that's good. It's it's an aesthetic thing. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a super nice guy too. The guy who owns that. <laughs> a lot of fights have happened at that house that I've heard of. So, because my uncle, the one who would say lick my balls, everybody. I mean, he's maybe like five, five. And oh wow! Back in the day, he was very skinny, redheaded, freckles. So, I mean, everyone it was like, "Oh, I'm gonna beat the shit out of this kid." But he learned how to fight because yeah. he had two older brothers who kicked his ass every day. And to develop that take some and shit attitude. Like they'd be they'd be drinking. <laughs> you know, they're 16 at this party drinking. Some guy from another town would be like, hey, you're Luther, right? And he's like, mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to kick your ass. And he'd be like, hey, Jeff, can you hold my dad? I'm like, can you hold my beard? He's like, yeah. My dad's like 6'2", <laughs> way bigger. <laughs> They're like, I'm, I'm going to go after the little guy, thinking they can easily win. It never, it never went that way. That's crazy. <laughs> you got to love that, uh-huh. the underdog story. Yeah, my dad's like, okay. And then he's like, anytime he had me one of his beers, I'd just... Down it while he bought. <laughs> like, beer. oh, my beer now. Yeah. And like, hold, he's just gonna. I'll hold my beer, thank you. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll hold mine, drink yours, and go back to mine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have a story that's kind of lingering in my mind. Um, so, like, uh, you guys, you guys know Family Video. Yes. Uh, rental place. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, in the one in Nevada that I got to work at for about a year has a porno section. Nice. Um, I never knew that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah. So, well, it's gone now. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so, there was a church that used to come and protest like yearly in front of Family Video. Really? Yeah. yeah. So, um, and they must hate Adam and Eve in Japan. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well and <laughs> what was fantastic about them is that, like, you know, like you said, people didn't know that there was a porno section. Until they started protesting. It was basically... So they just for, advertised. Nobody gives a shit. Yeah. No, they weren't getting through to anyone. They were, yeah. just, they were just maybe getting a couple extra followers here and there because the you know they were People already against, against porn. Oh, They're yeah. not fucking turning a single person here. No. All right? Yeah, so all they did... Some guy was by like, like, wait, they have porn in it? Exactly. Like, <laughs> they have, what are they? There's porn. Yeah. This is like I talked to my You've manager. Been here for years, everybody there was porn. Yeah. When I first started yeah. there, I talked to my manager, and she's like, "Oh yeah, they're great." <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like I, I'm oh, like whenever they're out there, I'm always getting customers coming in all day long. It's like I didn't know you had this, <laughs> but now, now you do. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So one year, whenever I was pretty young. Um, my, and they were protesting. Uh, it was me, my brother, uh, and my stepdad, and we were going by family video. And then, like uh, Sam, he hands uh, my brother like a magazine, and he's just like, "Throw this out in front of them." 
<laughs> 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 All right. So they did, and they were like, here you go. And then we drove off. It was a fucking porno mag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that made a mess. Uh -huh, I'm sure they had to call happened. the police to pick it up or something. <laughs> nah, dude. Somebody touched that in their pocket. Yeah, yeah. Someone who secretly has a point like, of addiction ah, in that shirt. Just like, I will dispose of this. Yeah, it's, like, it's like, don't worry, I will cleanse myself later. Yes. <laughs> and I will take this. Oh. And it dispose of this. this, this to the I will, will take it to the trash can right now. And you see him go to the trash Nobody can. Nobody follow then, me to the trash like, can. Yeah, no yeah. one follow me. It's evil. <laughs> it's like he's... And all, of sudden, and all of a sudden he's like passing the trash can and he's like fast walking away. Yeah. <laughs> like behind, yeah. It's like behind a corner now. Yeah. The, the guy who owns the Yuck House was actually one time drunk driving crashed into a ditch in town. And uh, my dad drunk driving crashed into an already crashed man, that man. <laughs> when he was drunk driving. <laughs> he was driving, super drunk, crashed Double into work him. score. This guy has long blonde hair too, so he flew off of his car because he was sitting on it after he crashed it. Just waiting for the cops to come. Um, he flies off because, you know, his vehicle just got hit. Yeah, and he's what? sitting on him. My dad's like, oh, I just hit some bitch. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> Looking over at surprise. his friend. And then the cops turn the corner immediately after. And it's like, oh, oh. God, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he get in trouble? Uh, I mean, these I cops mean, were <laughs> used to both uh, that guy and my dad and my dad's friend who was in there who tried to run and fell down into the ditch <laughs> because he was so drunk just passed out and the cop was like what's he trying to do Jeff and he's like I'll run I guess <laughs> and my dad just got out of the truck and hey. stood there like hey I'm like yeah I crashed into some lady and then that's Clay Jeff and he's like oh yeah. <laughs> and Clay's getting up like ah oh. <laughs> Yeah, when he told me he's already he's crashed into an already crashed car before, and that was a great story. That's, I was like, that's oh, amazing. Yes, <laughs> just the odds. Uh huh. Yeah, it really sucked for the other guy. That's just right on the street that the school's on. No, oh, perfect. <laughs> what a place to <laughs> you fucking be drinking and driving and crashing. Yeah. Well, yeah, not yeah. during the summer, yeah, you my, know. Yeah, yeah. 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 Drinking and driving incidents. Luckily, he doesn't do that anymore. But that's a good thing not to. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you're crashing the hard crash vehicles. Maybe you shouldn't drink and drive. Yeah. <laughs> Never hurt or killed anybody. Maybe so. that's just something about that spot. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. I mean, there was an already crashed guy there, so yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a drunk driver meme. I got to show you guys in between episodes. If I'm not thinking, but. <laughs> Well, don't rely on me because I'm going to fucking forget. <laughs> I just, yeah. put, just put it out there so somebody knows. Anyway. Yeah. I, yeah. If one of us forgets, the other one won't. And we'll be like, hey, show us to me. Exactly. <laughs> hey, you got that meme? Hey, yeah. <laughs> you got that meme, boy. Give me that meme. Boy. <laughs> uh, meme give me it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Fuck. Well, yeah, I think that's coming up on a pretty natural stopping point for an episode, right? Was that time? Uh, nope, I'm timing it. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? No, we still got 11 and a half oh, minutes. 11 and a half we minutes. Can, yeah, we can really. cut out. We can cut out dead. Well, yeah. Stuff, so. yeah, yeah. I mean, there wasn't very much dead. No, though, there wasn't. So. No. no. And now I feel like we're all just kind of coming out. Now we're all doing that thing where you're uh, really uh, trying to think of the next thing to say. Like, what is, yeah, it was someone just blurt something yeah. out. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> You said go. Uh -huh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna wait to talk about the thing that we were gonna talk about before we started in the next episode. Now. So yeah. Like we'll minutes. have a whole episode. Uh -huh, we'll have a whole episode. Oh, yeah, because we, there's no way we're covering all that. Uh -huh, yeah. How many? You guys will see in the next episode while yeah. we're talking. About. Yeah. You'll know <laughs> next time. <laughs> How many different meme group chats are you guys in? Would you estimate? Oh, I'm just in the one. Just in the one? Yeah. It, it's nothing that's too important to me. I enjoy our one. <laughs> uh, I think three? three. I think three. Yeah. Yeah, my work group, I got people I grew up with, and I got the one we're all in. So, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, I think those three. It must be nice still being connected to the people you grew up with. I feel like I have started new so all many times in my life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, so you move a lot growing up, right? Yeah, I did. So it kind of did, it did make it hard to stay connected with with people. Like I was moving from, let's see, Nevada, Sheldon, back to Nevada, Carthage, Lamar. Yeah, Carthage is the only out of the, out there one that it seems. Because the other ones are, you know, 
kind of yeah. close together, but yeah. Gartha just like, I don't know, that's a different realm of people. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, and then this was <laughs> also school, like... Different kind of school, too. And this is also like right before smartphones, Facebook, mm-hmm. all that yeah. became mainstream. So, yeah. I mean, I have like friended people that I knew from the past, but fuck if it. Like, if someone from t- 10, 20 years ago came up to me today and was like, oh, hey, it's you, I'm, I'm just going to be like, oh... Who the fuck are you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there is a little bit of that. There's a lot of people I'd be that that way with. There was a I didn't go to kindergarten in Golden City. I went to Osage Beach. Mm-hmm. Um, I had like one really close friend there, and I was probably a junior in high school when I was like, I just see if he has a Facebook and mm. added him because I found him. I was like, oh, there he is. There's Ben right there. Yeah. And I added him, and he was like mind blown because I mean he remembered me too, but he's just like, oh. he's like. You know, all the memories came flooding back when I sent him a friend request. I yeah. just randomly thought of him, like, oh yeah. I was like, I remember telling him I watched the second plane hit the tower. Oh. <laughs> because my, the way our classroom was set up, I was the only person who could sit, see like the teacher's desk and her computer. Mm-hmm. And she had it live on her computer, like freaking out about the news and stuff. And uh, I remember being in kindergarten watching the. Second plane hit and being like, just oh, eyes shit. wide, like not fully understanding what was happening. But Damn. I saw a little live part on the TV. Yeah, and like, I was that like, looks bad. That was a plane hitting a building. Because live, <laughs> dude. Okay, nine eleven. Like I had no idea it was going on we were the entire time it happened. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, and you know, I would have been in kindergarten too. No one told me. Mm-hmm. I mean, and I understand. You know, I wasn't going to register mm-hmm. anything mm-hmm. that was going on. So it's yeah. like, you know. Fast forward a handful of years, and I'm in history, and then, you know, we're talking about 9-11 in my head. I'm just like, when did this happen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why, why are we, like, gathering every year for this? Yeah. <laughs> like, I remember, uh, wasn't this 100 years ago? Our school went to, like, a faux lockdown because of it for, like, uh, next few hours. We got out early that day. Um, but we didn't really do anything for the rest of the day, and we are kind of oh, told yeah. to stay in our classrooms because I mean, a lot of people were freaking out thinking yeah, they were like, being oh attacked. What's going on? Yeah. yeah. So you know, ironically, now that I think about it, that had to have been one of my best days in kindergarten because, for one, I was completely oblivious to, to what was news. happening. Yeah. And then also, that would have happened. Like, yeah. whole class would have just gone to shit. Like, oh, and oh. Just, like, yeah, it would have. We actually do like, anything. Oh, yeah. we're going home early. Yeah. I yeah. think it was a couple <laughs> hours because everyone was just calling every uh, all the students' parents and being like, "Hey, do you want to come meet your kid? Can you come meet your kid?" Yeah. Uh, can we take your kid home on the bus? You know, yeah. they're getting everyone sorted, and once yeah. everyone was sorted, they're like, take, "All right, get them out." Yeah, got, got people lined up for get to get picked up, and got people on the buses to go home. That so. has to be such a fucking shit show whenever school gets out early, because like oh, okay. parents are at work. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, you got to coordinate stuff. Not everyone yeah, has someone at home I, to pick up the kids. And, and everything. I was yeah, picked up by my mom and went work. to her office and hung out at work. Her work all day. So yeah. So, I just, like yeah. home school, I was also aware of 9/11 when it happened. We were yeah. just you know watching it, but I'm also I think I'm a couple years older than both of you, right? Yeah, or, I'm I'm, uh, I'm 27. Yeah, I'm also. Okay, yeah, I'm 29. Yeah, I'll be I'll Jesus. be 28. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll both be 28 this year, and you'll be okay. So almost 29. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm like a. I'll be 29 in May. You will? Okay, yeah. yeah. I hate yeah, that. It's so like a year and a half. Yeah, yeah, older. It's like, I feel, okay, so like my birthday is in October. Mm-hmm. And then it's like this whole fucking year, I feel like I'm 28 years old already. Yeah. I don't, yeah, I feel like I got uh-huh. robbed yeah. a year. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I'm an August guy, so I'm like later end of the year also. But like, I have to always remember like, no, I'm not 28 yet. I'm going to be 28. Yeah. yeah, I'm still 27. Yeah, <laughs> technically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, like, during the last three months of the year, I probably feel the youngest. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's nice. It's there for the holidays and everything. Yeah. yeah. You can yeah, recapture was, some of that holiday magic. <laughs> I was one of the oldest in my class because the cutoff around here is, like, August 1st mm-hmm. to get into the class you're going to be in. So, that honestly should just be up to the fucking parents. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, for whatever reason, it's not. So, yeah, I got that. Which I'm glad I was part of the class that I was a part of because I mm-hmm. probably wouldn't have gotten along with a lot of the people in the class above me. So, yeah, well, that's good. I mean, I still got along with them, but it wouldn't have been the same being in the class. So it would have been a different... Different experience. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Uh, yeah, I was, I was definitely glad that I had the one that I had. So being one of the oldest in the class is nice. For a long time, I was like second oldest. 
just throughout the years. And then we ended up getting people who had been held back. <laughs> so yeah. no, no longer a list. Yeah. No, no. Ended up being four full lists. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. As people get, that's a small school. People still got held back. Uh, no, these people actually came from other schools. Oh, okay. Like, the oldest in our class was a good buddy of mine who came in, like, third grade. Okay. Which I remember him, and this is true, he got held back because he had, like, a sharing slash um, socializing problem. He was kind of mean to oh. the kids when he was in kindergarten. So okay. He was in kindergarten a second year to learn how to, like, be nicer to people and, like, you know, actually do your schoolwork and stuff. Yeah. He didn't quite learn that part still, but because <laughs> he's a super smart guy, he just didn't do the schoolwork. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, that's totally possible. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's had, he has the highest reading level our school has ever had. Really? Yeah. Like, nice. he's very smart, but he just never did the schoolwork. He always had D's and F's because he didn't do his work. He's like, I don't, I don't get, care. I don't yeah. get shit. Yeah. I'm like, you're going to eventually make me graduate anyway. So, yeah. I'm like, you can't keep me here forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a, what an attitude to have. Uh, I know. Yeah. Little terrorist. Uh, yeah. It's like, hard work and do you to stay of, here forever? Yeah. Super, yeah. Hard work and do outside of school. And he wasn't really like a problem guy, you know. So. Oh, I know, but it's kind yeah. of brilliant. And it's yeah. kind of like a, a maniacal genius. Uh -huh. thing. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. But like, you don't very, want me to stay here. He's also here. a pretty reserved guy too, but he's also like tall, big guy too. So, like, oh, yeah. Not quite gentle giant, but like quiet giant, but not really giant giant. He he could kick some people's asses if he wanted to. But yeah, when I heard he had the highest rating level, I was like, all right, so yeah, he he isn't dumb, which I kind of you know thought he was when we were younger. I was like, hmm, because he you know he'd always had the highest rating level in our class. I'm like, okay, so he's not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's always an interesting realization uh, about somebody. Yeah, the only time he was a problem child was because of. Colton, who was on the last steps, <laughs> because uh, Colton was a terror our fifth grade year. Big surprise. Fucking huge terror. <laughs> like, I don't know if any of us were his friend, honestly, <laughs> <laughs> because he was such a little asshole back then. <laughs> he was still becoming, you know, the uh -huh. more tempered version yes. of Colton we know and love like, today. Uh, they had like they had to sit on opposite ends of the room. Uh, Trevin is the name of the guy I'm talking about, and Colton, because Colton fucked with Trevin so much. <laughs> Just, like Forced, I, yeah, restraining I, orders. I remember Trevin chasing Colton around the locker room after gym one day, like after we took our showers, like nothing but underwear on, chasing him around because he got so pissed at him. Or Trevin would also get fucked with, and Austin and another buddy of mine in our class whipping up towels while he's in the shower, hitting his feet. And they made him fall sideways in the shower. So, like, all four showers, waters are just hitting him because he's in the middle of the fucking shower. It just slips. And they just keep whipping. <laughs> so, he was also terrorized. It didn't matter that he was a uh, quiet giant. And they were like, hey, Trevin, wait, wait, wait. Just get started. He's like, quiet, stop. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I accidentally terrorized him too. Mine was always accidental. I'll, I'll be honest. I remember one day at lunch, I was standing up. This was probably our junior year. I'm standing up, and uh, we had a bunch of. There's a bunch of peaches. I wasn't a big fan of the school's peaches, so there's a bunch of juice. I'm standing up, and I'm accidentally tilting the tray as I'm getting up, and the peach juice goes on down the middle of his head like this. And down all the way in the middle of his back. And I, as I'm turning, he just gritted, through gritted teeth, goes, Dyson? And I look back at him, and I start laughing super hard because I see it. So I go back to sit down because I'm laughing so hard, and I do it again with the opposite trick. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get to our class after uh, after lunch, and the teacher's like, where's Trevor? And I was like, oh, he's in the locker room. Right? She's like, why? I'm like, oh, he's taking a shower. And she's like, why? I was like, I accidentally dumped peaches and peach juice on him. <laughs> she's like, accidentally? I said, yeah. <laughs> accidentally did it twice. Uh -huh. She's like, I mean, no one ever got me in trouble at the lunch table. Also, he could like whisper her cuss word and some teacher would hear it no matter where we were. And he'd be like, he'd be like, Trey, like, I can't believe you just said that. And like, you get in trouble for it. Just whatever he His said. voice and must have carried he'd be or like, something. What the? You know, he's like, how the fuck do they hear me? And then we'd be at lunch and the lunch, uh, the teachers would sit on lunch table, big one in the lunchroom with us. They're literally right behind me, the teachers, and I'm ranting about something. And my rants back then would have a lot of cuss words. And Trevor would be sitting at the table with us, and he'd be looking at me and the teachers back at all of us like, how do they not hear you? And he's like, <laughs> uh, and Cole's just like, oh, they hear him, they just don't care. 
<laughs> Just to piss Trevin away. <laughs> Whoops. Oh. And that the voice. On. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, well, I thought I put it on silent, but. <laughs> school, school life's fun when you go to a small school. Oh, I can yeah. see that. Yeah. Well, unless you're like the unpopular kid and then you just have no chance. Yeah. No, I, was one of, <laughs> no. I was an oddity where I was a part of every clique somehow. I'm not sure. I don't know if it was pity or what. I don't think it was pity, but maybe it was pity. <laughs> but younger kids liked me too, so I don't think it was pity. I don't think young, I don't think young kids have pity. No. <laughs> yeah, no, no so, so, so uh, yeah, they, uh, everyone liked me and I lucked out that way because I could just go walk up to any group and talk to whoever and it was no big deal. I mean, I get it. And, and maybe that's why the teachers didn't care what I did. <laughs> maybe they pitied me. Maybe the teachers pitied me. <laughs> Adults like to do that. Yeah, they do. Because uh, I remember seeing, like, school roster, there's a little red dot next to my name because of, like, my heart problem. So mm-hmm. they're like, keep an eye on this kid. He might, like, drop dead. And we need to make sure <laughs> he doesn't do that. So I, had a, I always had a special alert for every teacher of, like, hey, make sure this kid's all right. And I was like, but it didn't really say what the problem was ever. So I think a lot of teachers said I had some kind of learning thing just because <laughs> I was a fucking class clown. And, but then, like, I would get a straight A on a test and they'd be like, really good job, Dyson. And I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah, like, thanks. Uh-huh. I'm like, that's pretty fucking normal. It would be like the first test of the year. And they're like, wow, great job, Dyson. And I'm like, mm-hmm. Proud of you. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, like, I'm like, expect it for the rest of the year. <laughs> Because they never saw me study, because I didn't, not through regular school. I didn't need to study for regular school. Yeah. Shit was easy, but in college, I had to study a little bit. Yeah. Some, some yeah. things. Not bad. Yeah, college. Yeah. And with that, I believe we have the podcast, boys. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, thank you for listening, if, if you are listening at this point. I don't know. Maybe we got some viewers to come back after the RRR movie review. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I put a little disclaimer in the comment for that one. And okay. after I say this, we can truly end it. Um... Netflix does not have the right version of the movie. You need to watch the theatrical version of the movie. Because if you watch it on Netflix, it's all English dubbed, even the parts that are in different languages. But that adds to some of the comedy in the movie, where one of the guys can't understand the white woman, and it's fucking hilarious. But oh, so it's English, English dubbed, so he's speaking, dubbed, he's dubbed over English, and she's speaking fucking English, but they act like they can't understand each other. Oh, and okay, it's yeah. so dumb. So, That's yeah, you good. need the theatrical version. Or what I found online was you need to watch it in Telugu, which is the second language in India. So if you can find it in Telugu, wherever you watch it, you can watch it in that. But I think the easiest way to do it, theatrical version. That's watch right. that. If you're going to watch the movie, which yeah. I say do. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Whitewashing prevails again. <laughs> yes.